it, how does it feel to be in Toronto and getting things getting going? Yeah, uh, obviously it's a it's an adjustment. Uh, um, you know, being in one place for as long as I have been, so some familiarity with being from here, but still uh, a lot of new things and uh, uh, but really exciting, and I'm looking forward to finally get going. What was your reaction when you heard last week at uh, the event in Chicago? A lot of a lot of your peers from around the league uh, mentioning the Leafs as a team they think is the odds-on team to win the Cup this year. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, that's obviously uh, some people may view that or have their opinion, and those things you can't really control or worry about. I think you just go about the way we uh, want to approach this season and, and start with a good training camp. And obviously, you, know, you go into every season. That's that's the goal is, is to win the Stanley Cup. So. We'll just worry about the journey and then kind of uh, building from camp and getting ready for uh, the start of the season. That's all we can really control and worry about. So um, obviously there's a lot of excitement around the team and, and we're looking forward to, um, you know, you know, building it. On, on July 1st, you talked about being prepared for this type of attention. And did you have a, a welcome to Toronto moment at their dinner or out, you know, in the weeks and months since, since July 1st? Not really. Things have been great. Uh, um, I've been able to just be myself and live my normal daily life. I think that was a big thing for me is I didn't really want to change uh, uh, the way I live and kind of who I am and the way I go about things. So people have been fantastic. Uh, even when uh, uh, I was playing in New York and coming home in the summertime, uh, people have always been great to me. And obviously I've had a lot of uh, attention on, on people being uh, happy about coming home and excited about that. So that support's been fantastic. And yeah, I've been, there's been plenty of days I've gone on, gone out and, uh, haven't been recognized or anything, so just being myself and, and uh, worry about uh, um, doing what I have to do to be ready to play and, and help contribute. You were only out for a couple of skates with the guys, but what was that like and you know, a, little, a little taste of uh, what it may be like in the season to, to be with the guys? Yeah, it's just good to get familiar with everybody um, and just everyone, even in the locker room and the staff, and uh, just get that comfort level and build those relationships and that, and that chemistry that uh, you want to carry over onto the ice. and. Um, lead to a lot of success. What did your summer look like? Time off, training, and did it change? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously free agency was uh, was a busy time and, and uh, uh, a very emotional time, a stressful time, but uh, a very exciting one as well, um, which I had a, a few weeks off after that with just training and kind of figuring out my kind of living situation and, and, and heading into my wedding in August and, and my honeymoon. So uh, and then coming back from there and still kind of Making sure uh, uh, I'm, you know, well prepared and going about my business and getting ready for the season and making whatever uh, adjustments I needed to make in, in terms of uh, things I had to deal with uh, in New York and uh, logistically all those type of types of things, uh, uh, living situation and whatnot. So uh, it's been busier than uh, maybe a few past summers, but um, obviously when I made the decision, I I knew that was a possibility. And it's just about managing your time and, and your energy and making sure that, uh, um, you know certain things are being taken care of and are on top of, I guess, the priority list. So um, it's been busy, but uh, really exciting and, and, and obviously looking forward to uh, later this week. So what kind of contact you have with Babcock this fall? Uh, a fair amount. I think uh, obviously uh, through the process, uh, free agency, uh, uh, we talked a, a few times and, and, and he's been around the rink uh, the last couple of week, uh, weeks. And, and I don't think it's just me, but I think uh, whether it's a lot of new guys or, or just guys he wants to kind of catch up with, uh, just get me familiar with certain things he's looking for me and obviously kind of the, the way uh, he wants the team to play and, and the way the team has been playing and how I can fit in and, and, and uh, certain nuances and just trying to get uh, comfortable as quickly as I can. Kyle's new to the GM role here in Toronto. What stood out to you about him so far in your interactions? Well, I just think he's, uh, um, you know, for a guy that is age, obviously a lot of people look at that, but I think just uh, uh, how much belief I think he has in himself. And I don't think it's a, it's an overconfidence. I think it's just the way he kind of goes about himself and carries himself and his, his ability to um, have his vision and how, how he believes things should be done and should be built and, and managed here. But it's, it's also communicating that with uh, people around him and the players. And uh, when I went through the free agency process with him, and, and that was very impressive, I think, just uh, the way he carries himself and the way he delivers uh, what he believes in and, and how he's going to go about that and how he can kind of get everyone on the same page. Regarding your, your, your signing with the Leafs, in Chicago, a lot of the players I asked, they I asked what they thought when you signed here, and a lot of them said they, they really respect your decision because it was really brave or gutsy or whatever. Did they convey that to you, that, that they admired that you switched teams? 
Um, I, I don't really have, I mean, guys kind of that I don't know or whatever kind of coming out of the woodwork uh, saying anything, but, um, you know, guys, uh, whether it was guys I was training with in the summertime or some of my close uh, close buddies that uh, that play in the league and, and I knew growing up, I think just uh, just said congratulations and, you know, thought, you know, all, you know said I, I handled the process really well and I and whether I, I, people think I did or I didn't, I, that's really what I tried to do is just uh, handle myself the right way and go things go things about uh, go about it all the right way and um, really understand everything that was involved. I think from my standpoint, but also the, all the other people involved and um, uh, just try to do the right thing for me and, and and try to treat people the right way. How much time have you spent on the ice with uh, Mitch Marner and what are your early impressions of him? Yeah, we've been on the ice a couple times together and uh, uh, I think it's just. Uh, um, He's just his energy. He's just an uh, energizer bunny out there. He's just uh, infectious with uh, being on the ice and then obviously his speed and his quickness. And I think there's no question the way he thinks the game, the way he can make plays is, is special. So um, just uh, the energy he brings out there is impressive. There's one guy still to be signed, William Melander. Um, I presume you support him, whatever his decision is, in terms of making his own mind up? Yeah, Willie's obviously a big part of the team and, and a big part of the future. So, um, you know, I, I think there's this is, I think, obviously been kind of proven in the past and I think with even a few other players around the league um, guys that have kind of been in this situation always sometimes seems to come down to the wire a little bit and uh, um, you know we believe we're going to have Willie here to start camp and uh, whatever happens obviously to start the season so um, important part of the team and I got to skate with him and see him in July a little bit I know he was really excited about things ahead and um, being a part of this group so um, yeah hopefully uh, it can get done uh, uh, very soon and we get him in and, and, and building for the season.